The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, boy, just as the old market started to open up here, we just hit 106 in the euro, folks. If you like 382, take a look at 382. Anyway, let's take a look here at the gold chart. Uh, this is one of the videos that I put out last night. Uh, you'll notice the uh, 786 retracement up there at uh, 2065. That was a uh, ABCD right at the 78%. I, as I was doing the video, I said this is where she should start down. And they were I must have had 10 requests, where do I buy gold? So I said, look, this is what it probably would do. But, you know, these are wild times at Ridgemont High. So be expected. you got to take some pretty wild risks. Now, we went down to just within $2 of the Fib retracement there at, at uh, 2008. We hit 2010, rallied $30. And then we went all the way down to 1980. That's just how crazy these markets are, folks. But, you know, when you got a $100 move in these gold markets, it's not a big deal. So, uh, you know, just got to remember, of course, the war is over now. They're just waiting to see when uh, Mr. Putin surrenders to The Hague for his war crimes. And uh, I, I understand there's two policemen standing guard there ready to accept him when he comes in. But uh, we don't know exactly when that's going to be. Now, let's take a, another look at one of the other charts that I wanted to uh, bring to your attention. Because when we were talking about gold yesterday, one of the things that we needed to be watching, of course, was what was happening in the silver market at that time. So we'll get this chart up here now for silver. God willing, and so far she is. Let's get this up here. There's a go live chart. Oh, oh, come on now. Why did it turn black on me? No, 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 no. Don't do this. Uh oh, something's happened. It's not going live. I don't know why not. Uh, well, that's the way computers operate, I guess. Hold on. Let me. Uh, no, that ain't gonna work. Let me try canceling it again and putting it in again on a screen. Hold on. Uh, change windows okay there's the silver now go live there she comes there's the silver you see silver hit the seven oh time out boys and girls silver hit the 78 percent retracement up there at 27 26 uh two days in a row that was expecting a pullback we've backed off about a dollar 20 an ounce right now folks Silver in the last several days has gone into backwardation, folks. That means that nearbys are selling for a big premium over the deferreds. That's what started crude oil. If you remember going back about four or five months ago, it was telling you something big was getting ready to happen. So uh, start trying to find silver, uh, the silver rounds or silver coins or silver dollars, anything related to silver coins. Uh, try to buy some of those because I believe we're going to see a monumental move here in silver. We've already seen 2000. Uh, 80 in the gold again. The old high was 2,090, and someone asked if that is a double top, and I firmly believe it is not. We're just having huge swings in here. That's the that's the bottom line. You know, we're starting to see this as we go through this. I mean, look look what we had yesterday, folks. Do you realize we had over 200 point move in the S and P yesterday, up and down? I'm not telling. I'm not talking about the little swings. I'm just talking about the big ones. And I want to give a hats off to Basil Chapman. The opening call yesterday, right before the show, I was listening to him and the market was really strong. And he said the market had to be up in the Dow Jones at least 200 points uh, entered, uh, by the time it was around 12 o'clock. I believe that if it wasn't that, he said the chances are it was going to go down and make new lows. And that's exactly what it did. Basil, I've seen a lot of things in this TF and thing, but that call was one of the uh, one of the absolute best. I my hats off to you. I thought about it all day. I was going to call in early this morning, but uh, as things were, I couldn't get this thing working right away, so I had to uh, stand pat and not be able to do it. But that was a fabulous call, and these markets are moving rapidly, folks. So get ready. It's not it's not easy times anymore at Ridgemont High, like you might think. Now here. Here's one that's really interesting now. This is 
is the let's get this up here so we can take a quick look at it because we just hit some really really interesting numbers here oh darn it just a second <clears throat> let me get this up here again i want to bring you that first i'm going to start out with the dollar index chart get it up here and you'll be able to see uh, there's the dollar index chart. You see this is the 61% retracement today that we see. Now, folks, we just had a big move in the euro just, just, just a few minutes ago where the euro got up to that 106 level. Now, I don't know if it means anything or not, but I have to take a look at this thing now to see what happened at 106. Give me one second here. There we are. We're at 106.70. Let me see the, see, get you the exact number here. Oh, dear, you got to love this stuff. Hold on just one second. If I can just get this up here to prove it here where we are. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Right 06. Uh, we're right there right now, folks. 107, right on the money. That's the 382 of a high from February the 5th back in here. Well, look at the stocks. They give up 30 points like it doesn't even exist anymore. Okay, let's move on here to a couple others that we want to take uh, good care of. We, these, if you trade these smaller, <laughs> hold on, folks. I got to put an order in here. Just a second. Sorry, got to make a living here. Hold on a second. Okay, all right, fine. All right, that takes care of that one. Let's move on to the next one that we want to cover here. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. Now we're going to switch. We're going to switch our gears over here to the uh, wheat market. Let me get this up here so you'll be able to uh, get it up here. I want just try. All I'm trying to do in showing you is, is some of the volatility that we're seeing in some of these market folks, and you have to get ready for it. You can see here the wheat. And this is over the last several days. We were limit up there at 1360. You see, we made the big A, B, C, D down. It was limit down. It was limit down offered. In fact, there was nothing trading there. And then it started to trade and it rallied a dollar 20 a bushel, folks. That used to be a monthly range in wheat. Now, that was done in two hours. So you think these markets are not going crazy? They are going crazy. So be ready for it. Let's. Uh, it's just really quite amazing. Now, what I wanted to point out to you is if you'll notice that 382 on the far right-hand side there, the last price that it was coming into, that's where it rallied to, and then it started back down again. So those are just some of the things that we're looking at that. We'll see uh, – What's going on with uh, some of we've got some big things happening, though, in the market, folks. It's just uh, it's really, really quite amazing anyway. So that's uh, one of the few things that I've got to cover today. There's quite a few others that I wanted to uh, bring to your attention. This is one I wanted to show you because uh, this was one that we talked about on the show uh, that that when you're ready to do something in this thing here, just give me get the window changed a little bit. I want to show you what was happening to wheat as it was reaching the uh, limit down. You'll notice the after it made the top, you see it rallied to the 382 retracement there, just exactly right on the money. And uh, from there, it went all the way limit down. Your risk there was about 12 cents, and it had better than a dollar in it, folks. That's how wild some of these swings are. Did I able to get this one? No, I didn't see it. I was too busy, <laughs> too busy doing other things. But uh, that was one that I was had on my my alert list i just didn't have the order setting in here that was the problem i saw it but i didn't have the order in we'll be right back folks You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a few charts here, uh, one on the UNG, which is the ETF for natural gas, and then I also posted the contract for natural gas. This was from our friend Mike up in Canada. You can see his beautiful, colorful chart showing you the downtrend in the natural gas. He was looking for a sale in that. That certainly has worked out in his favor. Uh, beautiful pattern there, as you can see. And the fact you get that news is so bullish coming across the pond from the UK. You know, stop and think, you know, their natural gas sells for 14 bucks, ours sells for five, roughly. So, I mean, this is a huge difference. And theirs is supposedly dirty gas. I don't know what that means, but that's how they refer to it in the trade, which uh, to me is a surprising uh, thing to put on a thing, but that's what they call it anyway. So let's uh, remind ourselves that uh, the way they name some of these things is a little obscure. Now, let me show you one here, folks, that we were watching for today. I posted this last night uh, in the video when I sent out the one on the euro. And, well, I, excuse me, the one I sent out on the gold crude oil and uh, E-mini and a couple other things I sent it on. Treasury bonds, of course, we were trying to get short treasury bonds, but the market just didn't rally to get to the area where we wanted to sell it. But we're going to look here now. We're going to pull up a chart of the soybean meal. Remember now, folks, this is, uh, this is pure protein. This is 80% of the soybean crop uh, of the bean. When they crush it, 20% goes to the oil which is you know used for energy along with uh, cooking oil and paint and all the other stuff but the meal is primarily you know the plant-based stuff that you're eating now at uh, burger king and wendy's and all the other places that uh, sell one or two of these burgers a month anyway the uh, you'll notice here that we do have a really nice three drive happening here uh, in the bar in the meal today I had an order sitting in there folks missed it by less than a dollar and it broke about a thousand bucks at about ten dollars a ton very very quickly now those are the ones that are kind of frustrating but you know you can't get over that I mean well, you got to get over that because that happens you know all the time and so uh, you be thankful for the ones you don't get filled on because they might be the ones that lose so just remember, folks, like I say all the time, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And that's a, a real key to following these markets for sure. Now, I've had a, another question about the uh, high-grade copper. And if you'll give me one second here, 
I wanted to get the uh, copper up here to show you two things in copper that I think are very, very important. First of all, we're going to take a look at the daily chart of the copper. Let's get this one right up here. And then we're going to see the copper. Now, here is, you know, what we do with uh, Tiger TV and, uh, you know, Tommy's book, uh, Timing the Market and ABCD you know, that we look at here. You can see here, this is the long-term chart going over the last six months in, in the, the copper. And you can see that it had a ABCD pattern there at 498. A high was 502. And of course, we've dropped more than 50 cents a pound uh, during the first two days of this. So that's some type of a major top. But let's Let's just play. Let's just play a what we call a a little game of uh, what ifs. Now, let's say you were learning to trade copper, and all you wanted to do is say, okay, where do I where do I buy or where do I sell? All you have to do, folks, is when you're doing these things, is to look for a simple A B C D. Now, you'll see the A B C D over the last several days in the copper. It shows you the high up there at five. The market breaks down well over 35 cents a pound, rallies up to the exact 78% level, and then proceeds to go down and make a perfect ABCD pattern down there. I mean, it actually made it. And then, it's uh, of course, it's rallying back a little from that time. But that's what you want to be trying to do is to try to find the ones that are that are relatively easy. You can see the ABCD measured right there to uh, 460, and the low was 460. I mean, you can't get it any easier than that. I mean, you know, and where does it go from 460? It rallies up to 480. You know, so it rallies. Unbelievable, folks. 20 cents, you know, that's $5,000 in copper. You're risking $500 to make 5000 I mean, that those are, those are we, we used to see these moves every three or four weeks. Now we're seeing them intraday. So get used to it because volatility is here to stay, and it's not going anywhere for sure. Hold on one second, please. Okay, now, we've covered the soybean meal, we covered the silver. I wanted to move over to something sweet to our palate, and that is the sugar. Several questions came up about the sugar. Is it a great thing to trade? Yes, it is. Let me show you just some of the beautiful patterns since we're talking about ABCD. You can see the ABCD, you can see the top up there, the three drive, that's in the turquoise. Uh, three drive pattern on the far left. Then you can see it makes the three drive to a bottom pattern, the lighter light blue right down there. And you can see the market going up and hitting these exact numbers. You can see where we had the double bottom there where it says last support, key support. That's where it was. And look where we rallied. We rallied $2,000. You're risking 400 to make, let's say, half of that. I mean, that's what the Floor Traders Handbook does, folks. It proves to you that the ABCD patterns work, A, and B, it also proves to you that the odds of you winning are better than two out of three, and the payoff is better than three out of one. That's done over thousands and thousands of trades, folks, in the euro, which is the most actively traded thing in the world. It also tells you how to do some of these key times that we look for, too. So that's what that ABC is for. It's manual. Ben Watt Mandel brought, brought it to us. Uh, Gartley was the first one to publish it back in 1937. And... Uh, it's been a, a very, very good product. Pro he called it the seed pattern is what uh, Bendel, Mandelbrot called it here. Sorry for the, the rough, uh, roughness of my vo voice, folks, but I've got a, a little bit of a sore throat, and I'm, I'm working, working through that uh, the best I can. So I wanted to do one other thing here that someone's asked me about, which is a palladium. You, you want to see some meteoric runs here. Let me get this one up here. To show you palladium, we'll get this up here. Palladium is is used in uh, what we call uh, uh, electronic stuff, and you can see what we do. And we're having huge swings here, folks. Do you realize? I I happen to know someone in the palladium business. He reclaims palladium from uh, uh, TVs and cell phones and stuff like that. He does reclamation. This was selling for around forty dollars uh, an ounce, you know, way back when. And now it went just the other day. We had 34.22 per ounce, and uh, I mean, stop and think how much that is, folks. That's 300. Yeah, that's 300 times, a little more than 300 times what it uh, what it originally was. Boy, and that's going back, you know, 40 years. Where probably more things that you might want to think of have, have increased uh, more than that. 
So remind ourselves. Okay, question number one, again, coming into the den. Do I think this was the top in the gold market? No, I don't think it is. Could it be? Yes, it could be, but I don't think that it is. The reason why is the open interest increased uh, a whole lot. Now, that was before the big break last night. Tonight, when we look, we'll see whether people were leaving the market or not. That might give us some inf inf information. But no, there's no reason to think that that gold market just dropped 100 We dropped $100 before, folks. Don't you remember we went from 1975 down to 1865? You know, that's $110. And from 1865, we went to 20, uh, 2080. I mean, this is just wild swings, folks. They're carrying big sticks. Got to be careful. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I was asked to post a chart here of the natural gas again, which I did. I'm just showing you the downtrend that was going on. You know, stop and think this is the midst of a war. And prices three times or four times what they were in the UK as opposed to here, yet the market could rally. I mean, boy, if that's not screaming, you know, please sell me. I don't know what was, but uh, Mike was kind enough to send us this chart, and uh, it certainly is a, a really, uh, really an amazing one to uh, to behold. That's for sure. 
Now, one second, I wanted to uh, cover a couple little things here. I pushed a chart here of the April cattle. We know with the rest of the world going straight up, you can see cattle and, and also hogs too, but not, not as much as was in the cattle. You can see the break that we had in cattle. Part of that break, folks, is related to the cost of feed. We had corn going nuts and soybean meal going nuts and hay and everything else was going nuts. And so that makes the farmer liquidate his herd so he doesn't have to feed him that stuff and gets his cash up front and that causes these big corrections and then they have moves right back up so that's all that was was a big big collapse in the cattle we dropped uh well that was a huge amount if you've been in the stores recently you see that you can get some tremendous buys on uh, hamburger and, and sirloin and uh ribeyes and stuff i was really shocked here this weekend to see the prices that they had for some of these things because they were really really good prices and the quality of the meat was uh, really quite uh, quite spectacular. So anyway, that's the main thing that I think we're keeping an eye on in some of these things, how they're jumping around. And we're looking for buys in some of these things. That's the main thing that we're trying to do is to find low-risk buys. And believe me, with the markets doing what they're doing, it's it's not an easy task. You know, it's uh, you know one of the ones that we don't trade this very often, but we've had our eye on it for quite some time, has been the coffee market. And we'll get this up here to let you so, folks see it here because Mr. Z was talking about this. And this is where we were, of course, two days ago. Let's get this up here for the old uh, Cup of Joe. You'll see that we had a beautiful retracement there right at the 50% uh, level. Uh, it was a, You can see the beautiful top there, the beautiful uh, butterfly pattern that made it at the top right at a 1.27 expansion. And then down she comes. And so now getting ready to see a pretty good rally. Uh, in the in the coffee market, I would think. However, how much I don't know because Starbucks has closed all of their stores temporarily in Russia, along with uh, 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 McDonald's and just about everybody else. So that's uh, pretty much some of the things that we're paying very close attention to here this morning. Now, one other one other in the commodity department here. If you'll give me a second here, and I want to bring this up just to show you where we've been and where we've going. Here's where we were as of Friday, because this is important, because we're in this natural gas, uh, the, the crude oil, to try to find a place where we have a low risk entry for a short. And it'll most probably be done on a 30 minute chart, or maybe even a five minute chart. But you'll notice here that we had this beautiful move up here uh, in the uh, Right at the 78% level on Sunday, that was this was done Sunday, and then of course Sunday night, uh, the market opened up $15 up to 130, and we made a double top yesterday at 129. So far, we've come all the way down. We've dropped about $17 a, a, a barrel, which isn't very much. You know that means your gas instead of paying 450, they'll drop it by two cents to pay 448. By the way, gas over in San Luis Obispo, Pismo Beach area, is now 820. A gallon. It's twice as much as it is here in Tucson at 4.25 a gallon. So um, the, 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 we do live in interesting times, to say the least, folks. So we are we got going to have some great volatility in some of these things. Uh, uh, that's the main thing. Now I wanted to show you one other one that we were really uh, excited about. We put an order in. We had two orders in yesterday that looked like they were going to be absolute. Uh, Hold on, just get it up here so we can. <clears throat> so I've got to find it. Here it is. Hold on. Okay, this is. I'm going to get get this up here. I oh gee, I hope I didn't cover this already. Maybe I did because I'm only hitting on about two cylinders. I don't know if I covered the uh, the soybean market, soybean meal or not. Let me get this up here. I don't think I did, but here's the chart of the soybean meal. Uh, you'll notice here that we have a three drive pattern up there at the 483 level, and uh, the uh, the high today was 482.90, just missing the fill. I thought for sure it would be filled, and then of course it broke. It broke quite a bit. We had, we did cover it before because I remember uh, we talked about a thousand dollars a ton. So let's uh, let's move on here to one other thing that we want to cover. Unfortunately, I'm not able to have guests, folks, until I figure out how to use this uh, Discord program with it. And I, you know, that's really a strange name for a brand name, Discord. I mean, Discord means, you know, things not going too well. I don't know why they named it that, but they didn't ask me, so I'm not going to be concerned too much about it. Okay, let's move on to another one here that we want to cover. Just get up here to one second. That's here is the old British pound. We want to get it up here. And I believe we're going to be heading down this way. Uh, in the British pound, 
we have so many people that are friends of ours from uh, the UK. And uh, you'll notice here is the British pound. We're heading down into that area. We think it's going to get to about 128 uh, sooner, maybe later. I'm not sure. But uh, that's, uh, that's neither here nor there of what we're watching here, here this morning. Okay, any questions, folks, 877-927-6648. The next one we want to look at here is should be topping right about now, folks. So pay, pay close attention to this one. This is uh, the current, the, uh, someone actually give me the price on this because I, I, didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the darn thing up here. Where is it? Uh, uh, this is the Australian dollar. Could someone tell me if the Australian dollar made that target up there, boys and girls? I would really like to know that. That would be right at uh, 74.50. Did it get anywhere near uh, 74.50? Would someone be so kind enough uh, in the den to let me know if we got there? And we'll see uh, what's uh, what's going to be happening uh, with that because that, that's a really nice one. It's related to the commodities, and commodities are selling off a little bit. So that would mean that there's someone bringing it up to me right now. Thank you so much. Uh, all I got to do is find that little puppy. Uh, 73.29. Don't miss it by well over, well over 100 pips. So that's uh, the main thing to uh, to remind ourselves of what we're doing here. Okay. All right. Now uh, let me move on to the next. Uh, what I wanted to show you here, and that is the heating oil. And th this, I have to show you this, folks, because uh, you don't see these markets like this. It takes a, something like a war in order to uh, validate these. But look at, and, and Basil talked about this because when he told me the price this morning, I actually couldn't believe it because that it was off the top of that chart. And so that tells you the emotionalism behind this. Now, remember, this; these are selling at about a 20% premium over the back end in, in, in August and September. They've already discounted at 20%. So they, they're saying this, this is a short-term phenomenon, and that's what could be happening. So all I can tell you, folks, is if you trade these markets without some type of a plan or a stop, you might be well, well, you're going to roll the dice. If you roll them right, you're going to be right. And if you're wrong, you're going to get hurt bad. And you don't want to get hurt bad. This this business is fun if you can protect yourself. And that's the whole the whole key of, uh, of why we're watching these markets as closely as we do. Part of the problem that I have is when I put a video out, you know, I'm doing it ahead of time. And, you know, by the time the video gets out to you, heck, the market conditions might have changed, but the pattern's not going to change. That's what you got to remember. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Wow. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Mike from uh, Canada on the line, Niagara Falls. Are you there, Mike? Yeah, yeah hi, hi, Larry. A uh, couple things. Um, do you have your own UNG chart using the Ensign 10 software? Uh, yeah, I do. I sure do. Can you post uh, that? I think I can. No you charge know, uh, on that. Historically, uh, the cap for natural gas was around 5 bucks, huh? It averages around uh, 350 and I looked in the well, charts, and the low for the year is January 3rd at three fifty. And I got this yeah. funny feeling we're going to claw back all the gains in, in yeah. natural gas. I would not be surprised uh, if that happened because of the way that it's acting, you know. It's, yeah. it's really, uh, where it happened? Oh, here it is. Just a second here. Chairs the window. There's They're plenty now of gas. Up. The, the Henry Hub, there's plenty of natural yeah. gas in North America. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, say again, what was your next question that you had? Yeah, next question is Canadian dollar. You know, back in 2014, the Canadian dollar was trading at parity with the U.S. dollar when crude oil touched 100. Okay, I used to uh -huh. do a lot of shopping in Detroit and Buffalo, and uh, things were, they were good times, right? Because things were actually, it was actually cheaper to go to Detroit than to, um, than to shop here in Canada. Now, I noticed that we're above 100, and the Canadian dollar sitting here around... Oh, what, 79 cents? Yep. Oh, uh, no, not even that. Uh, 76. 76, okay. So yeah. what, what, do you think, what do you think is causing the, the disparity, the, the lack of correlation between crude oil? Because, you know, the Canadian dollar basically is a petrol dollar. Oh, yes, no question about it. It's natural resources, primarily petrol, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, Mike, I don't, I, you know, I know you think through these things, and, you know, I know you've got all kinds of services that you use, but, you know, for, I, don't, I don't get into that, Mike. I just look at the chart. I, I don't really yeah. care the fundamentals. I've trained myself for two reasons. A, you know, I've got, I got three graduate degrees, but, you know, that doesn't mean I can count past six. All yeah. I do know is that I know what that bar means. I know what the next two bar means or the next three bar means. All the other stuff that comes in to me, Mike, is just cannon yeah. fodder. This stuff with the war and all this other stuff, I mean, I'd go nuts if I had to be a reporter, you know, uh, reporting on that kind of stuff. It just doesn't make any sense to me, you know. <sighs> I no idea. You don't know the possible. you know the reason why for the disparity in the Canadian dollar when the crude was it were at over a hundred now. Yeah. No idea. No. And you know what, Mike? I don't care. Mm. <laughs> That's the sad part. I really don't care. All I know well, is where it omen. is right now. It's a bad omen because eventually crude's gonna plunge. Yes. And guess what? I, I think the loony's gonna plunge too. I'm sure it will, but you know what? When it plunges, it's going to tell me on the chart that hey, somebody's selling. It must be plunging. That's what I, it's not plunging now. It's just no, you know you going in wide swinging, uh, wild swinging trading range, just like gold is. Then all I'm trying to do is to find that little segment there. It says, oh yeah, I can I can trade there. I can play ball with you guys here. That's what I'm trying to do. 
So when I when I tell you that you know I, I I'm not saying it in a derogatory way, but Mike, you know I'm uh, going to be 82 to some pretty soon here. But you know I, I've trained over my last 50 years, especially the last 30 years with Mark Douglas that I don't need to know what's going to happen next. I don't care what's going to happen next. I just want to know what I see on the chart, and that's the one thing that I can do, and I do it well. The, yeah. the other stuff, let I'll let the other guys sort it out. I can't do that. It's just over my pay grade. Okay. All right, then. Thank you very much. We, we can, we'll still be friends, right? <laughs> hey, thanks for calling in, pal. And, I, and please send the feedback because it's good because other people go through this too. That's just the way I do things. You know, that that's all I'm trying to do. I, I'm really bearish on natural gas. That's all I'm going to say. But I think they're going to claw back all the game. I think there's a I big would not be coming. surprised. Hey, Mike, a year ago it was $1.96. Remember that? What? <laughs> yeah. You know, so it, yeah. it, it moves around quite a bit for sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You bet. Thank you for calling in. Okay, let's move on. Folks, by the way, while we were on the air, believe it or not, I posted the chart of what I thought the euro was going to do. But uh, also, I posted that soybean meal chart, folks, and believe it or not, I got filled. I got filled in the soybean meal. In fact, I just got filled again, well, right at my price again. Now, it got right up to the level that I wanted to sell it up. It's, here's where it is. It's at 483.60, and uh, that's where I sold it, 483.60. I'm only risking $3 on that. So uh, my, my goal on that is that if I'm right, it's going to be pretty good. But that's a, it's a really nice pattern, and uh, when I see it happening that way, I have to do it because – you know, it's a three drive pattern. It's got all the things necessary to see whether you're going to be right or not. So, uh, and it, not only that, if you looked at it on a on a 15 minute chart, you're looking at a really nice ABCD up there at 483.62. So, that's a, another reason to look at it. So, your risk here is extremely small, and uh, that doesn't mean it's going to work, of course. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's uh, stop and think here. What other things we might have going here? Uh, moving around the bonds, I'll tell you, that was a frustrating one for us, folks. We missed the bond fill by six ticks, dropped $4,000, folks. Boy, if you think that isn't frustrating as heck to see a really good one like that get away. But, you know, like I say, sometimes it's uh, chicken salad and other times it's chicken soup. It just depends on how you're going to mix it. That's for sure. I want to show you that bond chart here because... That's worth the price of admission. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. I set these out Sunday. Sunday night, folks, we got to 106.12. We were trying to sell 106.20. We got to 106.12. We're now trading at 156. We're going to be coming down into the gap here at the uh, 154 level here in the next day or two. But this is most probably going to be the high of this move. Rates are going to be going higher, not lower. So that's another thing that you need to pay very, very close attention to as you're watching these markets unfold. Interest rates are going to go higher. They're not going to try to feed us the stuff about the uh, negative interest rates anymore. That's a thing of the past. They're going to come up with a new deal. Probably they'll sanction the banks for taking your money or something like that. I don't know what it'll be, but you know they'll do something that's uh, about as squirrely as you can possibly get. So let's remind ourselves that's what we're dealing with here as we uh, look at some of these things here uh, today. Let me check what the markets are doing quickly here because uh, we've had some really good moves. Good, we got the S&P back up here where we need it to be. 30 handles up, 30 handles down. It's just doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. We need to get it up to 42.85 today, folks, in the S&P. That's the one we'd like to see uh, unfold here at uh, 40. Uh, 4285. That's uh, we're going to be really interesting to see what happens at that. Uh, uh, yeah, let me get this on here. One second here. I got to do this. Uh, hold on, just a minute. There we go. Hold on, just a second. I got it. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. There's where we are. Okay. 10-4. All right. By the way, I posted. Oh, there's an interesting one I should post to you, but I can't do that. Could I? I don't know. What should I do? All right. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. <clears throat>
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, billable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, market's still uh, moving higher, which is good to see. We need to see the S&P around 40 to 85 today, folks, since we'd like to see it. Completes a nice little ABCD Mandelbrot pattern. We got the crude oil trading at 116.71. We had a high of 129. This is just nothing more than a $13, 10% correction going on in crude oil, folks, with the fact that they're not bombing anybody over there right now. The market thinks that the war is over, and they're probably right. They're just waiting for Mr. Putin to surrender to The Hague in the Netherlands. And uh, I've already asked to be on the jury, but so far they haven't got back to me on that. Uh, boys and girls, that's known as a joke from being up all night and being tired and having a sore throat. <laughs> Anyway, folks, you know, all I can show you here is what I'm looking at, folks. I wish I had stories to tell you. When I listen to Mike, you know, he looks, he reads everything, and he's he's a young man, and he's done incredible work. But I can't do the reading and stuff that he does anymore because I, I only look at what I see, I what I have to see at risk. And I, I, I can't listen to the news very much either because that just gets me all, gets me all confused, too. So... Uh, just remind ourselves, folks, this is not a business of uh, how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And that's the main thing. I, uh, I'm, that, I just do the best I can and, you know, go with it. You know, we've been pretty lucky here over the years at TFNN. So I did feel badly missing that last $200 in gold. But, you know, that's the way it goes. You know, hey, we got the first $300 of it. And, of course, we were bullish down there at the 1070 when it was making three drives to a bottom. Uh, also, by the way, this is a big anniversary date that Basil brought to our attention. This was the market bottom on September, uh, March the 9th. Uh, it was a Monday, I believe. 
we we bought them there on March the 9th, and we went up, and we've still been going up uh, high so far as January 4th, but uh, that uh, was, what, 13 years. So anyway, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here with some of the rest of these markets as we uh, go through the rest of the day. Anyway, we'll try to catch you on the flip side tomorrow, so live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And try to do something for your neighbors, folks. There's a lot of people out there still hurt. See you later, folks. Bye-bye.